Hey y'all, Josiah here, or privilege taker, or taker, or rocket co however you've been introduced to me. Uh, hello, and here's my unboxing video. So today I'm reviewing Sniper Wolf by Kota Bokia. Now Sniper Wolf is a Metal Gear Solid boss who pretty much her whole gimmick is that She's a sniper, and you have to take her out with a sniper rifle. Now, it's pr I haven't really heard many scale figures coming, being made uh, for Metal Gear Solid characters. So seeing this on my figure collection really piqued my interest. And uh, that was what led me to purchasing her. Um, I really did like her pose. Um, I liked how she had pretty much the wolf pup and the just like her whole vibe really resonated with me now for the features seen in this figure we have her crate which also has a little notch in it so that um, she doesn't move very much with you know when you place her on this base and I really do enjoy that she isn't on like a traditional base. Um, a lot of figures use a very standard disc of plastic to mount their figures on, which kind of limits where you can place them. So that's really cool to see. Uh, another thing that's really awesome with this figure is just her, <laughs> I really do like her manicure. It's kind of hard to see you know, it's it's kind of hard to see on the cameras, but she's got a really nice manicure, uh, very, you know, filed and painted, and that's just a really, that's just kind of a, what a Kotobukiya kind of thing, and that's not the only thing they've done. Uh, they've done weathering on the ammo container, and then just little, few little details of her foot propped on the ammo container with on laced boots kind of like kind of like kind of like setting the scene where she's just getting prepped which is really really cool to see uh, another thing I noticed from these figures from this figure is uh, and this is a point of contention from other people who've reviewed uh, sniper wolf's figure is her hair uh, the ends of her hair kind of have a translucent tint to them and it's kind of a it's kind of a point of contention with the community, but I think it actually looks pretty good. Uh, the blonde into transparent tips kind of give this air of mystery and eeriness to her, which kind of resonates to her character into games. Now, another thing that I really like about this figure, honestly, is her face. Now, a lot of the Beast Shoujo figure line, they have a tendency to kind of make, to cutify a lot of the faces of the characters. Uh, and I do like that the face sculpt still gives her an air of maturity, um, not just kind of one of the, one of the girls. She's kind of, kind of got like the face of a grown woman, which is, you know, it's, it's nice to see that they, um, they didn't overdo it when doing the um, design of her face. And she has just a really pretty face, uh, some nice lips, um, really nice eyes. Like, it's a very, very well done figure. And Kotobukiya, generally, I don't, I don't like to call it a budget figure, but Kotobukiya really does price their scale figures at a very approachable price. None of them really, on release, none of them really go above a hundred dollars, unless they're very, very detailed sculpts. And this one's no exception, except that the aftermarket did make her price go about twice what she was going for when she was re-released in 2020. So I did have to pay a little bit more than I would than than I would have wanted to pay originally. But the seller on that I bought this figure from on my figure collection really worked out a very good deal on her. So I'm pretty happy with what I paid. 
and overall she's a really good figure if you're a metal gear solid fan uh, you will be very happy with what you get it's definitely a figure that looks better in person than it does in the photos and that's it um stay tuned for other reviews that i'm going to be doing in the future and thank you for um watching have a good one see ya